with the Go MRI Man. Spread the knowledge. Motivate the people. All right, what's up? It's Kwame, aka MRI Man. Welcome to the show. And if you guys are watching this today, you're probably about to take your ART or arm red test. And I've been getting a lot of emails lately on um, people needing a study guide, what to study, what books to read. So I decided to make a quick video. Uh, let's start it off. Number one, you want to sign up for MRIquiz.com. This is a very good site. I used it personally and I know a bunch of people who also used it and they did great. And on this website you'll see that there's a bunch of mock tests, uh, study material, and a whole lot of practice questions, practice tests. And I'm also a strong believer in this. If you get a 86 or 90 on that mock test, you should be able to pass the ART test or the armor test. Number two, you need to get that MRI and practice book. This is like the MRI Bible. Everyone should have this. Number three, I have a study guide for you guys um, in the description. There's a link to a PDF. What I did is I first went to MRI quiz. I took some mock tests and I found out what my weaknesses were and I focused on that and then I went from there. And when it comes to MRI and practice, I basically just kept rewriting things over and over until it stuck. That's how it works for me. I have to read something over and over and then write it and then repeat it. And then that way, all that material just clicks and it sticks. And when it comes to this study guide, all you're going to do is go through it, answer all the questions, and then have somebody test you on it. The questions that you are not answering or you have problems with, those are the ones you put on flashcards. And then you just, throughout the day, you're just looking at them, looking at them. And with all this... Um, MRI material and all your studies you should be carrying these items with you everywhere you go this should be your main priority nothing else should matter you shouldn't be watching Netflix you shouldn't be partying nothing matters right now all that matters is that you pass that test and you stay focused because after you pass you can forget all this stuff okay most of this stuff I'm gonna be honest with you you don't really gotta know you don't have to know the physics exactly of MRI. Do you have to know the parameters and the trade-offs? Yes, of course you do, but you don't have to know the history of MRI. There's a lot of things you don't have to know. Everyone knows that and it's a bunch of stuff. And even if you pass the test, it doesn't make you a good tech, right? But this is something we have to do. Every tech has gone through it. And yes, I've heard that the test is getting harder, but if you take these tips and you really apply it, apply yourself, dedicate yourself to this, just like anything else you do in your life. Um, you will be great, you will be successful, and if you fail a couple times, don't feel down because I've known many that have failed a couple times and they came back and they got it, and now that's behind them and now they're just working, okay? So really take your time and really focus on the material, man. I'm telling you guys, you guys gotta take this serious and you really gotta be studying every day for at least two hours and consistently and don't try to cram everything in and don't burn yourself out good luck to you guys i wish the best to you if you any of you guys have any other good tips any other good websites anything like that leave them down in the comments anyway let me know when you pass because i know you can do it spread the knowledge motivate the people and i'm out